Hello folks, it's Chris Gustafson here, and uh, I just got a little simple do-it-yourself video. I hear uh, people uh, quite often uh, trying to figure out easy ways to fill, uh, or I'm sorry, excuse my words, uh, to uh, hang their, their bush pots over fire, um, especially ones that don't have uh, built-in hangers. So uh, today when I was uh, wandering around a big box store, I was looking at their end of year clearance sections and uh, I came across a brand, it's called Eagle Claw and it's actually a fish mouth spreader. Uh, I've been toying with the idea and I've actually seen uh, this idea um, posted uh, one other place, so this is not a Chris Gustafson original idea, but I just wanted to do a real quick demonstration uh, using my Swiss kit here uh, of what you can do with these things. Uh, it was on clearance for 86 cents, so uh, not a bad deal for uh, a piece of kit that you know will we'll get some use. So uh, let me flip the camera around here and uh, I'll give you a general rundown of what, what we got. All right. Hello folks, it's Chris Gustafson here and uh, I just got a little simple do-it-yourself video. I hear uh, people uh, quite often uh, trying to figure out easy ways to fill, uh, or I'm sorry, excuse my words, uh, to uh, hang their, their bush pots over fire. Um, especially ones that don't have uh, built-in hangers. So uh, today when I was uh, wandering around a big box store, I was looking at their end-of-year clearance sections, and uh, I came across a brand. It's called Eagle Claw, and it's actually a fish mouth spreader. Uh, I've been toying with the idea, and I've actually seen uh, this idea um, posted uh, one other place, so this is not a Chris Gustafson original idea, but I just wanted to do a real quick demonstration uh, using my Swiss kit here uh, of what you can do with these things. Uh, it was on clearance for 86 cents, so uh, not a bad deal for uh, a piece of kit that you know will we'll get some use. So uh, let me flip the camera around here and uh, I'll give you a general rundown of what, what we got. All right. So what we got here is an Eagle Claw fish mouth spreader. Um, still in the package, haven't even opened it up yet. Um, but uh, basically, these run uh, regular price. They're around two bucks or something like that. Uh, I got it for eighty six cents on the clearance rack. Um, so I'm going to unpackage this here and I'm going to give you a little demonstration of uh, what I'm planning on using this for. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, other uses for this tool, but this specifically uh, I'm going to use to uh, hang my, my Swiss canteen um, over a fire uh, if I don't want to use the internal stove. Just gives me another option. So... Uh, let me unpackage this here, and uh, I'll give you a little checkout. All right, so what we got here, it's out of the package. It uh, appears to be um, just black paint, I guess. It's not coated. I was going to say it was coated, but uh, it's not. It's just painted. So that will probably eventually burn off at some point um, if it gets too hot, but uh, I'm not thinking it would get that hot, especially if it's just a boiling deal. But uh, it is it is painted, so if you uh, think that might be an issue, you could probably strip it down with some paint stripper or whatever. But anyhow, uh, let me take the cork off of my Swiss kit here. So this particular bottle has a little rim, rim around here. You could probably take a piece of wire, tie it around there, and then hang your your pot over top of a fire so say the fire's down here you could put a piece of wire on here but what would happen is because of the weight it would hang sideways like this uh, what I've seen before with these is you just unhook it and it spreads like so so 
I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. So basically, you just throw that down inside there. And you got yourself a little easy hanger. Hang that right over top of the fire. It's not going to go anywhere. Got quite a bit of quite a bit of grab in there. See. Um, so basically, that's it. You're just going to unhook it, hang it over fire. I know that these uh, will work on any water bottle that has a small little lip, as see, because they have hooks here. So uh, any container that has a little inverted lip on the inside. And then uh, put it back together like so. Um, what's kind of nice about this, and I kind of thought about it, is, okay, so... I got my little handy stove here, so when I'm done cooking on my bottle, uh, if I don't use my stove, I want to uh, put it back together. You put your little bottle in there, your cup on the top, you flip your lid up like so. It's pretty much self-contained. Well, then I need a place to hang this. I'll just take it, open it up like so. Poke it right on there. Permanent spot. Just like that. Totally contained. I won't lose it. Good to go. I can put this in my um, Molly bottle holder. And yeah. So hopefully you like the video. It's just something really simple to use to hang your bottles. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you.